Hey everybody! Ever wanted to get started building with Android things, but you weren't sure where to start with electronics or peripheral I.O.? Well, that's the boat that I was in. So I want to share with you what I learned about building a traditional UI-based Android application on our Android Things hardware. To get started, we're going to need a few things. Let's go over those now. The easiest way to get the required hardware is with a maker kit. The Android Things developer site details several boards and kits, but there's two main ones that we'll take a look at. The first is the Pico Pro Maker Kit. Now this kit's great because in its largest configuration, it includes a screen, a camera, a Wi-Fi antenna, all the necessary connectors, and it includes a rainbow hat development board, which is a great tool when diving deeper into Android Things development. The second kit is a Raspberry Pi 3 starter kit. Now it doesn't include a camera or a screen, but it does still include the rainbow hat. Both kits are great, but for this example, we'll be using one of the Pico starter kit variants. We'll be using several of the components from this kit. The IMX7 board, a compatible screen, and a USB-C power cable. Now it's time to put it all together. To install our screen to our board, insert the ribbon cable to the white connector on the back of the board. You'll need to lift up on the black latch mechanism first so that the connector will slide easily into the board. Flip the latch back down to secure the cable once it's in place. Next, we'll install the screen's power cable. And take the white connection from the screen and insert it into the white connector on the back of the board. Now you might have to use a little bit of force to ensure that it is snugly connected to the board. Great! Now let's check out our finished hardware. We now have a board capable of running Android things along with the touch screen. Now that we have our hardware set up, it's time to create our project. We'll start by creating a new project in Android Studio. We'll name that project Hello World. We'll then select the Android Things form factor and deselect phone and tablet. And finally, we'll select an empty Android Things activity because we will have a UI. And then hit Finish. The generated code has several items of interest. The Android Things dependency has already been added. In our manifest, we'll see a uses library tag in our application declaration. This indicates that the Android Things library should be available at runtime. And finally, we have an intent filter with the IoT launcher category. This specifies which activity should be launched when our board is started. The layout for our project is simple and includes a single button. We'll then get a reference to that button in main activity and add a click listener. Now that our project is set up and ready to deploy, let's install Android Things on our board. To install Android Things to our board, we'll use the setup utility because it greatly simplifies the install process. The setup utility can be downloaded from the Android Things developer console. Once the utility is downloaded, unzip and save to your preferred working directory. We'll be using it soon. We'll connect our board to our computer to power it on. Now it's time to use the setup utility that we downloaded earlier. Invoke the setup utility and then follow the prompts based on the hardware that you're currently using. Once the image has been downloaded, we can hit enter to start the install process.
We don't need Wi-Fi for this project, so once the board is flashed, we're ready to go. Now we're ready to deploy our project. We can click the Run button and select our device. We should then be able to press the button. Congrats, you've now been building with Android Things. Well done. You now have a UI application running on Android Things hardware and software. For more on Android Things, check out these additional resources.